guess Yerba Mate really does have what plants crave. Disclaimer, Yerba is not actually what plants crave, nor will it transform your smaller plant into a bigger plant. Unless they sponsor us, in which case anything is possible. <laughs> Can you do a video talking about why farmer crimps are a secret weapon for climbers? They're helpful because you can do them and you can control the weight and as such control the force so much easier than hangboarding. You can start with as little as five pounds and work your way up, whereas with hangboarding, it'd be really hard to take that much of your body weight away. Remember, healing is all about proper tissue load management. Too much and you're gonna re-injure yourself, too little, i.e. doing nothing, and you don't trigger the body to make helpful adaptations. Farmer crimps are simply an awesome tool to slowly and properly load your tissue. What strength TheraBand are you using slash would you recommend here? Whenever you're starting a new exercise, it's a good idea to work on your form. That means we're focusing on quality reps, not quantity, which means you'll wanna start with a light enough band that allows you to perform quality repetitions. As you develop good form, you can start to increase the resistance. So having multiple options for your resistance bands is crucial because you can start easy and then make it harder and in the long run, you wanna be putting about 80% effort to really notice the changes, but that's not gonna start on day one. Start with control, allow your body to learn the movement, and when it can tolerate it, work your way up from there. Fun fact of the day, ladybugs are actually called lady beetles, or according to the English, lady bird beetles. How quaint. Been following your lower body flexibility routine and I've noticed after two weeks that when I do the standing hamstring stretch, mostly just feel tension and tingling in my calves. I've tried rolling them out slash doing some basic stretches, but it doesn't seem to help much. Any suggestions? You may need to start by testing the positioning of your lower back, testing it with your lower back bent versus straight. If you notice when your back is flat that you have less tingling, you'll need to keep your spine straighter and watch for rounding during the stretch. If you have neural tension, the more rounded you are, um, especially if your head's lower as well, the more likely you're gonna create neural tension. If there's no difference between the flat and rounded position, you may instead have some neural tension in your lower legs. Either way, you may benefit from some neural mobility work. But I mean, that could use a video all on its own because it's kind of complicated. So you may need to see a professional for a consult or assessment. Should we do a video on it? I don't know, let me know what you think. But yeah, I mean, to answer the other part of your question, you should not maintain positions that cause numbness or tingling. Change position, shake it out, and try again, but don't maintain stretches or positions that cause numbness, tingling, or anything to that sort. What do you think about taking turmeric slash curcumin? I've been told that it speeds up recovery of tissues. In my case, I'm hoping it will help with swollen finger knuckles from climbing. First off, disclaimer, I'm not a licensed dietitian, nor do I claim to be a nutritionist. I'm just a guy who does some research, has some opinions, is an orthopedic and sports clinical specialist, has some really great hair, has it upstairs in a downstairs laptop, can do a one-arm pull Curcumin, like the chemical they are most interested in from turmeric, has been studied in cancer treatments, on Alzheimer's, on healing, burn victims, and even on delayed onset muscle soreness. Like in this particular study on delayed onset muscle soreness, they compared it to the placebo and it was found to reduce that delayed onset muscle soreness and slightly increased VO2 max. In the more important aspect, it was found to be safe for consumption. So in general, yeah, curcumin is awesome and has been studied and looked at in medicine for generations, but there are a few things to consider. Not all inflammation is bad. Inflammation is there for a reason and is helpful, um, and it's part of our healing process. Not all people also process the curcumin equally. It may have a more positive effect on one person than another. Our gut biome can greatly vary between individuals and this can have the change the effect it has on you. You shouldn't think that curcumin is going to heal your finger injury. It may assist in a way, but it's not the only thing you need to look at. What's the difference between using light weights and therabands for these exercises? Is it okay to use weights if you don't have the bands? And if not, what's the reasoning? Thanks. All right, Serena, so I actually get this question a lot. The direction of force is really important in what makes the biggest difference between using a resistance band versus weight. 
Take the first exercise in the, the video, for example. The TheraBand creates force that will engage the external rotators of the shoulder. If you're using a dumbbell, you're still going through external rotation, but the force would only be straight down due to gravity. So it would make um, more of a bicep or elbow flexor exercise rather than getting the external rotators. Same goes for the second exercise in the video. The weight at the end range of the exercise would just be sitting on your shoulders. Whereas if using a TheraBand, it would create force to work on your scapular retractors and external rotators. We've been getting a ton of really great questions recently. Please keep submitting those questions. I love being able to do these viewer question videos. I think it's really informative for you guys and it's fun for me to, to answer them and to you know even do additional research when I'm prompted. So thanks again for the questions. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe and until next time <laughs> this is gonna sound so douchey <laughs> okay I gotta do it okay okay but you know but yeah but I'm not like oh, this isn't about me. yeah but this isn't about me just remember like I'm not a nutritionist okay I don't know everything <laughs> <laughs> I don't know everything, okay? So this is just opinions and stuff. WTF is train, climb, swing, repeat. If you don't know train, climb, swing, repeat, are you even a super fan of the channel?